Welcome back to Limbus Company, Daily Mirror Dungeon. Time to do another, um, Restaurant Sure Spicy Fathoms Hell's Chicken type run. Why not, after all? Because I get a... I think I'll take a perversion here. I'm, I'm just doing it with Solo Hong Lu. Oh, you, you're busy. That's right, you need to select... Okay, I'll grab these four and I'll just have them default. I forgot it's physically forcing you to take everyone for this. It's been a little while, that's for sure. Yeah, Yi Song just takes default stuff. Faust takes default stuff. It's automatically equipping their egos for once. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Because Mirror Dungeon doesn't do that. It doesn't automatically equip egos. You gotta actually manually select them. That's odd. Oh, well. We're just bringing Hong Lu. The others are just here for the ride. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I just I want to do this dungeon again. It's a little short thing, that's for sure. So that's nice. I'm still I'm pretty I'm almost done with my entire moving process thing. So like starting next episode, everything will be back to normal, which will be nice. Means I'll probably continue Lob Corp sometime this weekend. Don't have like a time set yet, but expect it to be like Saturday, probably earlier than normal. Like, maybe I'll do it, like, 7 p.m. or something like that. That's my current thoughts. Which is, like, three hours earlier than I've been doing it in the past. Because I've, I've soloed, like, almost everything with Hongalu so far. So I might I might as well try soloing this one as well. Just so I can say, you know, I've just done all the stuff. Gotta sit, I wonder if you're going to be able to solo Refraction Railway 2 with Hongalu when it comes out. That would be a little silly. I feel like that may be worth an attempt. I don't know. Oh, he's been staggered already. Hmm. Oh, do I just lose? I don't have enough gluttony to survive this. Um, hmm. Alright, well... Uh, two gluttony, we need f three... Oh, this is actually good. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Because, um, using his defensive skill will be able to build up Gluttony. I almost completely forgot about the fact he could, in fact, be staggered. Since it's been, you know, a while since I've done Hong Lu and something that isn't your dungeon 2. Ooh. Huh. That was interesting. You know, I really should have been, uh, thinking a little more, I suppose. At least I got my Kepler modules back. That's good, at least. Doesn't really make like, that big a difference, but um, that sure was an attempt. God. Well, let's just uh try that again. We can load preset. We'll take the yeah. We'll just take perversion. Yeah, grab the preset. Uh, the preset should be good since it's just the exact same thing we just picked. And then we'll try this again. Okay. What path do we want? I'm not gonna be able to get both of these, which is really sad. I really want them. This is actually like an awful layout. Yeah, this is atrocious. I'm gonna be forced into. All right, I'm just gonna go middle path and something like this. Minimize how many like avenues and stuff we have to take down. But this is probably gonna be a loss as well. I mean, I'll be able to build. I'll be able to build up the stacks this time. I'm just gonna, I just gotta remember about the gluttony. Gluttony or nothing. There we go. That's gotta be the strat. Okay, nice. Won that clash. So got some sanity. That'll be big. But no, we need to get the special events because if we can get the one that increases rupture, like, inflicted, that would be, like, super good for us. Okay, something like that. Okay. You can take it. You can take it. And you block this one. Alright, that's good. And you get a little ampule, so you'll get healed a little bit. Very nice. And we're gonna do... No, not this. Uh, we'll do it like this, I think. Because we don't want him to build up too many ampules, because if he had three ampules, then if he dies, he just does, in fact, die. So we kind of got to use them in moderation. Which is kind of the best way to go about doing it, I'd say. So, yeah. 
Makes sense. Come on, block. Nice. 22. Very good stuff. And now we've got enough gluttony that we should be fine. Decent chance we get staggered by one of these here. Maybe not, though. We have we are restoring 10% HP each turn thanks to the ampules. So we're not as close to stagger as we would have been without that. Ooh, taking damage from this, though. He got a Tails, though. And this guy takes a lot of damage. Yeah. Straight up dies. And this one also probably just straight up dies. There we go. This is a much better start. Oh, darn. Not quite. Tails, get another Tails, please. Tails, excellent. Yeah, because they're also K Corp people, they've got like the K Corp passive, so they're still healing HP. And then we go for that. Should be able to take them all out here. Neutral blunt, at least. That's good. They all resist Pierce, which doesn't matter because Hongli doesn't have any Pierce. And down they all go. Alright. That'll work, I'd say. That should work. Oh, you still choose people to level up. Interesting. I feel like I should, I should know this already. It's just weird, though. But what they've done with... This, like, I'm pretty sure, isn't there, like, a single Mirror Dungeon 2 avenue that can show up in these? I don't think I've seen it myself, but I feel like they've mentioned that at some point. Okay, we're gonna build that up immediately. Hopefully I didn't just do that against someone who's blocking when I wasn't paying attention. I was. Oh, well. I'll be attacked now. Yeah. The rupture builds up, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a stagger. We've got the gluttony though, so we can't die here. Even if these guys are gonna get super good rolls. Which they seem to be getting kind of occasionally. Oh yep, there we go. There's all the healing. So now we gotta kill all these guys. At least as many of them as we can. Staggered. This isn't gonna do too much, but the other attack will do a lot. It'll just kill him straight off, I believe. Okay. And now we just go for this, and there we go. Yeah. Once again, I don't have I don't have the best comms here today because I'm a little tired. It'll all be back to normal soon, though. And I guess, uh, I guess tomorrow we're gonna get to see what the specifics of the new warp units. Excited to see that. Does make me wonder when we're gonna get new units, new Season Zero units that aren't just Association or, um, Corp units. So far that's all it's been. We haven't seen any, like, different, like, syndicates or stuff. Like, no more, like, Blade Lineage, Kurokumo, stuff like that. And we'll double you up because it doesn't matter at this point. And please, 50-50. We lost the 50-50. Yeah, that's fine. So this means this is the one we need to go to. So we're not going to get the stupid rupture build. That's a little sad. It's a lot of sad, really. Because just inflicting 5 rupture count every time you inflict rupture is um, a little good. Honglu's also got like a decent bit of rupture. Skill 2, both the coins have Rupture Infliction, and his skill 3, both the coins have Rupture Infliction. It's only his primary that isn't anything Rupture related. And even then, it gets power against targets with Rupture or something like that. But it, his primary just doesn't inflict Rupture straight up. Oh well. This is enough of a nothing episode that even if we win if i felt like it i could do it or a rerun don't know if i care that much though it's just it's hell's chicken you know how it is everyone's done it like 40 times or at least everyone who was there when the event was going on and actually wanted to get all the rewards i definitely did it like 40 times 
I've done it a couple times since then. It's definitely a little lame to keep on spamming because, like, there's, like, a total of three enemies for the most of it. There's, like, there's, like, the little bongy guys, there's the K-Corp bongy guys, and there's the actual K-Corp guys. Very limited variety, that's for sure. God. I am... It is funny that we're just triggering. What is... What are the passives that are actually triggering doing for us? I should probably check. I really should have tried to go for passives that would have done literally nothing, but like, yeah. What's this one? Pride owned. Add the highest max speed. Inflicts offense level down with attacks at 25% chance. Interesting. Just inflict it next turn? Looks like it, judging by the fact that this guy has it right now. Then, yeah, these two we physically can't trigger. This one, out of the lowest max speed, deals and takes 20% more damage. Oh, so whenever we're getting a gluttony resonance, we're taking more damage. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I know that's how base Ryoshu is like normal passive works. I used base Ryoshu a fair bit a long time ago. Um, because it's like 30% more damage dealt, 30% more damage taken with the gluttony resonance, which is a very funny passive. And the support ones like that are for the person with the lowest H max HP. And it's 20% instead of 30%, so it's not as bad. I guess it just means going for a gluttony resonance is a little risky, but it means we do more damage. We just need to make sure not to do it when we're taking a lot of hits or like we lose clashes. I think they'll die this turn? Oh yeah, excised target's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, and we've still got two more- we've only got one more attack, that other attack isn't gonna be used again. Oh no it is! Okay, despite being all the way to the left. It's hard to say. Oh right, this was the risky encounter, so there's a second wave. So we're just gonna- it's, it's just more of the same. You know how it is. It's simple enough stuff. We get to we get to cook some chicken. Quite delectable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It sure. Is offense level next turn? I actually noticed it that time. Hit like the bongy guy, and you got the offense level down to next turn. Certainly an interesting little benefit. Paying attention to see if it's going to trigger again, but it's not triggering again. Okay. It's inflicting some tremor. doesn't really matter at this point. They're kind of far too late to get any benefit from tremor. And we'll trigger the hustle here. These guys are all staggered, so the 20% more damage is pretty nice. Okay. Looking good. And, alright, just these guys left, the guys that are weak to the blunt attacks. So we want to use as many of our secondaries as we can, just to make sure this guy dies. And there we go, alright. A little painful, but, um... We press on. We press on. And you know, maybe if I'm lucky, we'll get a new gift here. Nope, more level ups that do nothing for us. And we just do bot and bat. Three more normal fights. Simple enough. Simple enough. Then we'll have to fight the big bong himself. You bong, aka Papa Bongy. Okay. Taking some damage. Might get staggered here. Let me see, though. No, this turn I'm getting staggered, though. I can only... There's two one-sided attacks. Yeah. These guys are gonna do enough damage with a couple of weak attacks. Like, they've only gotten tails so far, and I'm already almost staggered. Oh! Huh. I'm not staggered yet. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. 
Really? No, still? There we go. There's the stagger I was waiting for. And now we're just gonna get hit a bunch. Our passive triggers, though, so... All's still good. And 125 HP? That's still more than enough to demolish you. I'd say. In my humble opinion, of course. Of course. And yeah, once again, Excise Target does a lot of damage, instantly staggers them, brings them down to low HP, and Decay Blade finishes that guy off. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If, if we inflicted a bunch of Rupture here, we'd also have a little bit of vampirism going from Hong Lu. Do you get some, like, self-healing stuff? Some self-healing benefits? When the target has a lot of Rupture? Like, 10 plus Rupture to be specific. Which is not gonna happen unless we, um, do some tomfoolery. I'm definitely gonna try Dimension Shreddering Yubong himself. Because Dimension Shredder is super good, inflicting just a bunch of Rupture count. Definitely could be beneficial, and it'll make it so if Hong Lu does, like, actually die, die, he'll get better. Which isn't too likely to happen, but it could happen. Very well good. We're gonna get Epper in max level by the end. Incredible. It does nothing for us, but it'll be done, so, um... Sure... Okay, the exact same fight again. Daring today, aren't we? Which means another case of the same, just Hong Lu playing chicken with the chickens on whether or not he's gonna get staggered or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whenever they get like a decent rupture, like count on him, that's when it, he's actually starts taking a fair bit of damage when he's unstaggered. Of course, when he's staggered, he just takes damage from everything. Okay, staggered one of those goons. And we're probably not going to get any of these off, so you're just you're getting staggered. There's no not a doubt in my mind. Yep, there it is. There it is. Yep. Once again, Hong Lu's enjoying it. I'm just taking the hits, and he's gonna make himself stronger because of it. The fool. Yeah. And they're making their stupid, goofy chicken noises, as they love to make so much. So you gotta respect it. <laughs> this is like the most boring run of all time. <laughs> I find Kei Hor Hong Lu stuff to be, like, fun. I enjoy using him, but against these guys, like, Hong Lu's getting staggered and he just kind of got a. He just has to sit there for a little bit. The removal of the stagger threshold in Mirror Dungeon 2 makes such a big difference for this. Like, not that, like, Hong Lu's likely to die in Mirror Dungeon 2 normal, but, like, even if he can be staggered, it just makes the process so much faster. When he doesn't get staggered. Yeah, L losing the first run was really funny, but um, in classic me fashion, I kind of forgot about a using a crucial mechanic to my advantage until it was too late, aka turn three and Hong Lu was staggered and we only had like two gluttony resources at the time. And he died because of that. Whoops. Okay, he's definitely gonna die here. That's good. Okay, and secondary finishes him off. So now there's only one more fight before the boss. And there's a very realistic chance that it's just going to be the exact same fight. I think there's only two possible options for regular fights. It's either four Bongi K Corp guys, or it's two Bongi K Corp guys and two normal K Corp guys. And yet there's the final level up. Will we get a single EU gift beyond our starting one? Find out after this battle. Or are we just going to be stuck with perversion, which is doing like nothing for us because we don't need resources at all. Good. 
and it's the exact same thing. God. Our resources sure are something. I also really need to see if I'm just insane. Yeah, yeah, you get it, Honglu. You keep on- you, you just get staggered while I'm tabbed out and looking at other stuff real quick. Wait a second. Wait, I, I, okay, so I'm going back to my other video of, um, my other video of this, of Hell's Chicken, my recent one, seeing if, if it's, something's different. And I've noticed, it's auto-generated, like, time, like, the timelines for it, chapters, intro, battle, talk, avenue fight, bucket fight, outro. Has it been doing this for all my videos? Have I not noticed? I no longer care about whether the fact that I'm going insane or not about Hell's Chicken. Uh, is, has it been auto-generating for my, like my old videos? Like, if I just click on like some random video... God, you're gonna hear me in the background. Didn't do it for this one. Why is it- is it doing it for some of them? That's kind of funny, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna turn it off, but like... What's the point to the auto-generating of the titles? You know what I mean, right? Like how, like, in YouTube videos you can put on, like, timestamps. And, like, then it'll just be, like, at, like, the bottom bar it'll be like, Oh, this part is meant in this, like, part one, this part's called part two. And sometimes YouTube, like, auto-generates them for, like, older videos. And so it seems like it's starting to do that for some of my older runs, too. Which is very interesting. Okay, we gotta kill this guy, though. I'm stalling this out. Far too long. I'll look into it in my own time or something. That is very funny. Especially how they labeled the Papa Bongi fight as the bucket fight. Like, I assume it's just like AI generated type. I guess it's probably like not AI generated as much as it's like taking the captions, probably reading like auto generated captions and like trying to determine what each part is based on that. That's very interesting. All right. But here's the actual fight itself. Here's here's the the star of the show himself, Mister Yu Bong, and his bucket of chicken. All right, step one. Very simple. We're gonna dimension shredder him so we can get a bunch of um, dimensional rift, probably on like the on some part of him. I don't know. We'll do it here so we can actually clash against that. That's a little bit of a scary attack. Oh, we're just gonna get staggered straight up, aren't we, huh? No, we, we still got the ego off. Okay, that's good. We've got paralysis next turn, which does nothing. Because we're just gonna get staggered ne by the next turn, probably. So it shouldn't matter too much. And once we do get staggered, we can't get staggered again for the rest of the fight, so I'd rather it happen sooner rather than later. Yeah, come on. There we go. Probably the perfect time to do it. Oh yeah, we're going insane. Didn't even think about that. What? Oh, we didn't have gluttony resources. That's right. It's not carrying over our ego resources between fights. Genuinely, am I going insane? Have they reverted some of the changes to the Hell's Chicken dungeon? Or have I, do I just not have I, did I not pay attention last time I did this? I think I'm just not paying attention, honestly. What an interesting way to lose. Oh well. You guys just get in there and finish him off or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is an awful episode. I do apologize for that. For the fact that I'm just very out of it. It's been an exhausting couple of days. 
Look at him hitting it. How cool. How swell. Once again, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot I needed to rebuild up Gluttony every time because I just hadn't needed to. I probably could have died at any point there if I was actually being clueless. We, can, we like can't redirect anything here, huh? Okay, can you at least win one of these clashes? Struggling, struggling. Hmm. That seems like a no. These four honestly might just lose. Yeah, it's starting to seem like it. Which is funny if I end this episode without actually managing to succeed at all. Okay, Brushstroke almost killed that guy, though. That's good. And yeah, we can't do anything about this. Paralysis, but it's for this turn, so it does not matter. Okay, I think of the strategy is going to be to try and corrode. We also need to have Dawn save Yisong's life. Doesn't get so he doesn't get mauled to death by these chickens. Okay, struggling. Evade that then. And then uh struggling. Evade that then. And just hit this guy again. Something like that, maybe? Once again, if we just like don't kill any of the actual bongies themselves. You should go insane soon. Yeah, look at that sanity levels. Okay, um, just have everyone attack the chicken bucket right now. We're going to try and destroy it, and then everyone's going to go insane, and I'm going to see if that's going to be enough. Oh yeah, we can have you corrode this. Unstable? How unstable? Attacking Faust levels of unstable. Okay, maybe don't go for that version then. Go for this. So did this guy. No, so did this guy. Kill him. Get some, give us some resources. Why not? And, yeah, so it definitely kills the one that's at low HP. And, yeah, there's the special animation for getting the kill. Oh, yeah, Don just died. God, I love the I love Dawn's corpse in particular. So insane. Oh, you didn't go insane? Oh, that's rude. Okay, you're hitting. He's like, oh, oh boy. Oh yeah, everyone just dies. Well, the good thing is that might be just be a victory thanks to that. Uh, theoretically, Sun Shower is kind of stupid. Yeah, I think everyone just dies here. Not gonna lie. Yes, is here. 350 damage, honestly not like the most damage. Ryoshi's dead, that makes sense. Papa Bongi's got a lot of weaknesses right now. And are you just hitting the chicken? No, you're also hitting Papa Bongi. Oh, you're also hitting Yisong. And you've managed to stagger him? No, you didn't. You can't stagger them in that form. Um... All right. How much do we broke the chicken bucket, so we can't spawn any more of these guys. But uh, he can still kill us very easily, in fact. So I think we just lose. That's my guess. And yeah, that's unfortunate. One awful set of runs. I kind of just 
didn't realize that resources weren't carrying over like they do in mirror dungeons now they just didn't make that change to hell's chicken i guess and you know that cost us the run we would have gotten like no rewards so i don't really care if it's a win or a loss but uh it's a it's a moral loss and an actual loss i don't know why i'm differentiating it We get daily extractions now. Yippee, yahoo, yahoo. I guess this means we don't get any battle pass levels. So sad. I love my battle pass levels. And we just got one stars from this. How much paid lunacy? God, how much lunacy do I have still? I've still got a lot of paid lunacy. When I run out, I'm just going to stop doing daily extractions, by the way. Uh. Because uh, I only have this because I had like 4,000 like a month ago. I haven't spent money on this game in the last month. Uh, I've just got a lot. I just have a lot built up. It happens. That'll be all for this time though. Um, My apologies for such a awful episode. But I hope you enjoyed the delectable chicken. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.